Hi guys, Gary Kong Elkerton here. Just wanted to show you something I've got going on at the moment. I've been using this wax for about eight months now, and I've decided to put my own brand on it, Kong Waxy Wax. And I've decided to do that because it's that good. And what I'm going to do today is run through the right way to apply the wax. There is a, a technique to do this. There's a base coat, and we have all types of temperatures we can use from warm water to glue, which I believe is the stuff. So um, I'm going to run through a few things here and show you how to apply the wax. So when it comes into your shop, get down there and get stuck on the Kong Waxy Wax. Two types of wax here. We've got the base coat, we've got the glue. First thing I'm going to do here is unwrap the glue. Sorry, the base coat. Let's get it right. The base coat. And what I like to do with this, I like to make really thin little lines on the board in this sort of an angle, yeah? Nice little lines. You can do it quite quick, because I'm getting pretty good at it now. Um, and I turn the block around, so I've always got a very thin line on the wax. I like the thin line because it gives it a really good bump when you do the uh, other diagonal uh, direction. Okay, I'm going to come the other way now. And remember, they don't have to be really close. And I like to get it right to the tail. Right to the tail pad. Right, that's, that's how much we've used of the base coat. These things last a long time, all right? Now, this is the glue. This is the stuff, all right? So here we go, just a straight rub. Now I do it very lightly, and you'll see straight away, you'll start to see some, the lines start to appear. And what I do first, I get a nice even coat over the whole board. Nice even coat really starting to see the lines now. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this rolling motion with the wax. And again, it's not heavy, I'm not pushing down very hard on the, on the wax. I'm letting the wax apply by itself. And uh, you know, most of you surfers out there that have, have done your wax jobs, I'm very petite about this, I, I, I always have been. And, um, you know, I change my wax for different temperature surf. Uh, like I said, right now we're using the glue. And this is, this is one of my all-time favourites. Now we're really starting to see some beads of form here. And now I get into this. I get into just a little swirly motion. And what that does... All those little lines and little little spots there that have connected, they really start to get the bead up. A bit of depression there. I've been surfing this small pump out the end day. Oh, here we go now. This is what I love. Now I'm going to get straight back into my big, long strokes. stress the point you don't have to rub really hard on this it's a very it's just a very light you just let it be roll it yourself right now the great thing about this wax is now that I've done the base coat and this is the special thing about this how these guys have got it that good this stays planted it doesn't move when I finish a surf, I might have a little bit of indentation here from my ribs because I've got big ribs, but the whole bead thing stays. It doesn't smudge. It stays the same. And again, look, look how much base coat we've used and how much glue. And, you know, personally myself, I like just a little bit more than that when I wax my boards, my first wax. But the good thing about this, again, is when you come back the next day, it's the same thing, it's all the same, and it just keeps building up. But don't you don't want it to build up too much. You know, I reckon about, after about five surfs, I like to change my wax, I like it really fresh, and I like it looking really clean like this. 
So listen guys, I hope you enjoy the uh, wax. It's going to be out really soon and uh, I'm very stoked to get this into Australia and the world and it's going off. Kong, waxy wax, rip in. <laughs>